Do you ever miss the fantasy element that ran Rampage during the 80s? Do you miss goofy teen comedies of the decade? Well, here is the movie for you. I am Thorstein from Cinema Terror, and today's review is of the forgotten, obscure Hollywood monster, also known as Ghost Chase from 1987. Before I go into the movie, I just want to say that the lack of reviews from the last few weeks has been due to me being sick, and as you can hear, my throat is not 100% yet. But what can I do, the show must go on. Hollywood Monster takes us back to what many will say is the glory days of horror, where we get to know the two friends and roommates Warren and Fred, played by Jason Lively and Tim McDaniel respectively. They live together in an awesome house with plenty of silly gadgets and fantastic movie posters on their walls. Fred is trying to make a B-movie, with Warren being the star actor in it of course, but their career is not going all too well, but the luck just might change when Warren gets an invitation for an inheritance reading of his late grandfather. The only thing he ends up receiving is a pawn ticket, which he also has to cough up 20 bucks to collect. Oh, come on. What'd you get? What's this? Can't you read? A pawn ticket. When he does so, he receives a brown suitcase, which has a bunch of old photographs and an antique clock in it. Disappointed by the lack of bounty, they head home. That very night, a supernatural creature comes to life from the clock and sets the guys out on an adventure to find the real treasure left behind by Warren's grandfather. To be perfectly honest, I had never even heard of this movie before deciding to give it a chance today, as with such I had quite low expectations for it. To my surprise, the movie turned out to be a pleasant experience, filled with silly and goofy 80s fun. This movie thrills in being of its time, in that it has more focus on just giving us funny scenes than caring about the logic of it all. There is that indistinguishable 80s charm flowing through each scene that makes this a must-see for all of us with youngsters during this decade, allowed to go back to find more of the good stuff that perhaps didn't get its due at this time. The silliness of it all might not work for movie fans that didn't grow up with films like this, so Hollywood Monster is very much a product of its time, and perhaps a bit dated for many of today's audiences, as we are not used to bizarre movie plots like this one has. Another problem that some might have with this film if they can look past its goofiness is its main characters. Jason Lively as Warren and Tim McDaniel as Fred is not the best leading duo you will come across, and I'm sure that the movie as a whole would have been remembered by more if the duo had been switched out with, say, the likeable and nerdy duo from Weird Science, perhaps. Not to say that Warden and Fred are complete dickheads or anything like that, they're just not as memorable or as fun as you would have liked them to be. The supernatural creature, called Louis the Butler, is silly but plenty of fun. <laughs> Take this run behind you! The thing looks like a modified E.T. puppet, and while it's not the greatest creation ever, it is still just too much of a funny looking little guy that you can't help but enjoy every scene he is in. I should also mention that the female character of the film, Laurie, Wade's love interest I guess you can say, is brought to life quite nicely due to the natural charm of the actress Jill Whitlow. It's funny to see that the director of this film is none other than the German-born director Roland Emmerich himself. He is of course more known for his later big budget efforts like Independence Day, Godzilla and The Day After Tomorrow, but if there is one thing that I can say that I think Hollywood Monster has against those more beloved and remembered films, it is that there feels like this one has a bit more heart and hunger behind it. There is supposed to be a director's cut to this film somewhere that runs 22 minutes longer, but I have no idea if a longer running time would actually prove this film. The movie was filmed during October of 1986 in both in the US and Germany, and actually had a release in the theaters in Germany in June of 1987, and was first shown stateside where it only got a VHS release in 1988. I am not sure why this film doesn't seem to have any more fans, as I thought it was an awesome, fun 80s nostalgic experience. Yeah, I do know that the movie is not a cinematic masterpiece, but I have a hard time understanding how this one isn't more beloved by the others that grew up in the time period like I did. It's not that easy to bring up points of just why this movie worked so well for me. I guess it's nostalgia, but it's also too easy to give all of that reasoning for why I enjoyed it as much as I did, 
as is not like a lot every movie from the decade. Hollywood Monster or Ghost Chase, as is my preferred title for the film, is a surprisingly fun movie with heart in it. It might not be for everybody, but a sure as hell was a movie made for me, and it gets the above expected score of 4 out of 5. Has anyone else there seen this film? And if so, can you understand my high praise of it? Or did you not care for it like most other people doesn't seem to do? What are some of your hidden 80s goofy gems? Let me know about it in the comment section below, like and subscribe and all of that stuff. Apologies for me not nearly having any voice left, but I hope to still see you again next time. Why did you betray me? You would make this miserable failure a rich man! Oh, and before I end this video, is that Porky's? God damn, yeah, it actually is. No wonder I like this movie. I don't pay you to sit around. I get off your dead ass and get to work. Okay, okay.